Hey everybody. So if you happen to catch yesterday's uh, episode of Public Freakouts Unleashed, you'll probably recognize this clip of a young woman and her boyfriend, but especially the young woman involved, going absolutely crazy on their neighbor in this apartment complex, calling him all kinds of things and seemingly extremely angry at him for no discernible reason. The segment I featured was a about a minute long, and when this clip was sent to me, I mistakenly assumed that it was the whole thing. But after getting several requests to cover the story and doing a bit of digging, I found the original YouTube channel of the guy who posted this, and luckily for us, this is just one segment of a total of eight clips of this incident and the aftermath, all of which tell us a bit more of the story of what's going on here. Luckiest of all though, his most recent video is actually a very satisfying conclusion to the crazy saga with which he has blessed us. At the end of the clip I featured, you're left with a ton of questions. Why is she so mad at this guy? Why is she calling him all these names? Why is her boyfriend such a simp? The clip I featured was actually just part four. These are the other three videos leading up to that as well. We actually learned some new information from the missing prequels. Hey, what what's going on? Oh, okay. She's cute, huh? She's literally so weird. I'm just going to my apartment. I'm throwing away trash. I'm throwing away trash. Yeah, okay. You have problems. Okay. Okay. You have problems. You have problems. Okay. Let me get your face. Thank you. Okay. I, you're I'm a just weirdo. recording you because I don't know what you're doing all I'm this for. I'm not doing anything. What is a little girl going to do to you? Nothing. I just don't know you're what's going on. You're a weirdo. I've had shit on you for months. You're a weirdo. Okay. Really? Yeah. So just to keep a record here, so far she's accused him of playing baby crying noises through their wall that they share, uh, as well as drilling at three in the morning. Can you, we, she's at my door right now. This is strange. Yes, you are. I'm not even here. Besides being a weirdo. She's following me around to the trash can. No, I haven't. I've been walking recording. Around. I'm back in. And of course, I'm minding my own business. Weirdo. Hey, what? You're a weirdo. Okay, weirdo. now I have to call the police. You, you can go inside. No, I'm what? sitting in my fucking stoop, yeah. buddy. What? You're gonna walk? Hey, it's okay. Hey. Hey! Hey! What is going on? She just what, what is she doing? She, she doesn't like you. She feels very harassed by you. What is she doing? I feel very stop, harassed stop, by stop, you. Stop, stop, stop. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You got a freaking weapon? What are you doing? It's, it's a She broke the thing. You have a weapon? No, bitch. Close the door, fat ass. Quit. Quit. Okay, so we're now caught up as far as the footage that we've all seen so far, what I featured, and we learn a couple of important details from that missing intro. First, we see that she's following him all around the complex and seems to be already recording him and actually follows him all the way from the trash bins, which seem to be quite a bit from his front door, back to to his front door in his apartment. She says she has had shit on him for months and even gets a lot more specific with her accusations, though it's hard to hear without enhancing the audio. At one point though, she says, he bangs on my door at 3 a.m. asking for weed and when he doesn't get it, he plays porn sounds. That's a pretty weird one. If he actually did do that, that would be 
pretty weird, but it seems to suggest that these two have had some interaction before. Also, we can see that she runs up and actually smacks the dude, and although he obviously wasn't injured, it's still not legal to go around hitting your neighbors and following them around. Well, I guess you can follow them around to your heart's content, but you can't hit them. You can see the boyfriend getting very uncomfortable as he starts to contemplate what this mess is going to cost them. A lot of people speculated that the boyfriend was actually a good guy, albeit a bit of a simp, and was really embarrassed about what was happening, but the next video in the series, which mainly features him actually, tells a totally different story and kind of exposes his true character. You know, they don't take charges serious if you, like, can't even prove them. I was sitting here recording her. She, she ran up on me on video and yeah, hit me in the freaking head. She hit you in the head? In the neck. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to hang out here and wait for that, dude. That is absolutely highly unacceptable. Yeah, so is throwing a trash can, dude. I didn't do that. You're throwing a trash can at midnight? Remember that? It wasn't me, bro. <laughs> it wasn't you. Even though you were slamming on your ceiling and screaming at the top of your lungs profanities? None That's of, a funny one. None of what y'all are talking about is associated with me, dog. Yeah, you're not the one who lives under us, huh? I'm not getting into any of this. I'm filing a police report. That's all. So now the boyfriend has added a few new accusations to the pile of why they think this guy is really the crazy one. Apparently, at least according to this boyfriend, he threw a trash can at midnight, which I guess he did that in his own home, which who cares? Um, he was screaming profanities and slamming on the ceiling, which I immediately think to myself, how does somebody slam on the ceiling? Ceilings are about, it, did he get a ladder? They're like nine feet, 10 feet tall. So go ahead, try slamming on the ceiling right now. You can't do it. It's too tall. Yep. Just gonna hang out, wait for them to show up. Huh? Just gonna hang out, wait for them to show up. I'm I'm hanging out for other reasons right now. I understand. You got a lot on your hands right now. Yeah, I know. Like, how long have you been out here? Because I drove by like 25 minutes ago, and you were in your car. So you've been I, I just pulled up. Her? I just pulled because up. Because she's been locked out. So you knew a woman was locked out of her house and you've just been sitting here recording her? You can tell from his body language he really thought this was the one that was going to get him. That's not what That's happened. That's really weird, honestly. Okay. It's honestly really creepy. Okay. That's really creepy. Okay. Have fun. I can honestly totally understand why she's so upset now when I pulled up. Because now that I've been to two, you've been out here for 25 minutes, haven't you? You know what I've been doing? What? Taking out trash from my truck. Hi. You had 25 minutes worth of trash to take. She followed me to the she followed me to the dumpster. No, I didn't. I was walking around. So that's obviously a lie right there on her part. She 100% did follow him around to the trash can. We watched it. And then you pulled your phone out and started recording. You've been recording me. How old are you? <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone here. So the boyfriend hears her call this guy a pedophile uh, because she says because she's 17 and the boyfriend immediately starts to panic and goes, no, 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 she's just kidding. I swear because he, as it turns out, is 26. Uh, and if she was 17, that would actually make him the creeper, not the guy recording this video, but we can add pedophile to the list of accusations that they have thrown uh, against our main character. I'm 26. Huh? I guess that's legal. Technically. No, she's not 17. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if she was 17, you'd have even less of a chance of that place report working out. So. Alright. I'm just filing one for, for the apartments because it sounds like that email was you guys. Yes, it was. It was me. Why are you taking it on on her? You, I'm not you doing made it. You were scared. Man. I pulled up and she's sitting here recording me, bro. And and, and instead of. Instead I didn't say a word to anybody. 
And she's sitting here recording me Dude, today when I pull up. 20 minutes, so you can't, you can't lie. Like when I tell that to a cop, I mean, they're like a third party. When I tell that to a cop, they're going to think that's a little weird. And you may okay. have been taking trash out and stuff. They're, they're going to think weird. her running up. <laughs> I was standing yes, I right agree. here. They're going to think that's what weird. What she did was wrong. What she did was wrong. And, but they're also going to agree how a woman would feel a little bit weird when they're locked out of their apartment. Someone, a neighbor who's been very creepy in the past. Like to knocking on our door late at night is standing up here and, and per you're never outside. Dude, you you really should provide whatever any evidence you have. You should provide that to the proper authorities Dude. and handle it that way. Okay. It's not even evidence. It's like a lack of evidence. Like what? Dude? So how are you gonna accuse me of it? Yeah, for real. <laughs> talking about aliens? Yeah, remember you have that ancient aliens book. Yeah, yeah, it's a good book. Oh, see, it was the aliens the whole time. Just like Indiana Jones 4 and signs and knowing and nope. Anyway, in between uh, trying to convince this guy that he should totally not talk to the cops because it totally won't work out for him. So, like, why even bother, bro? It also sounds like there was some kind of email sent to the apartment complex complaining about this guy's behavior, and a uh, boyfriend here admits on camera to being the one that sent it. Okay, so that was part five. In part six, he comes out and starts recording again when he hears these two arguing with each other this time, and you can see now the way that the girlfriend treats him. Oh, he didn't hit my truck, did you? No, I'm staying away. Yes, ma'am. Whoa. Okay. So she makes sure to say again, I'm going to kill you uh, while being caught on camera just to absolutely 100% make sure that the police don't side with her and her boyfriend when they finally get here. Luckily, part seven of this footage is when the cops finally get there. Let's see how our strategy pans out. I'm just making sure you're not. I'm just making sure you're not damaging my vehicle there. I'm gonna sit out here and record. I did not do such a thing. Okay. Take your evidence to the office. Take your evidence to the office. So just to summarize, as the cops are finally walking up here, this couple has now accused our main character of drilling holes at 3 a.m., slamming doors regularly throughout the night, throwing trash up their stairwell, and being a drug addict. And this is on top of the 15 or so other accusations they've already made throughout this video series. We even hear the girlfriend say that she has our main character on camera throwing said trash up said stairwell. Is any of this true? It seems weird that all of this would come out of absolutely nowhere, and some of it seems a bit specific to be just made up on the spot, especially given that these two don't appear to be the sharpest knives in the drawer, if you know what I mean. Was someone else messing with these two? I have to wonder, and they mistakenly believed that it was our main character, or... We also learned that the aforementioned email was regarding these exact incidents and that they apparently provided pictures to the, the apartment complex when they complained. Just a few things to keep in mind as we move into the police encounters part of this story. Honestly, where a lot of the energy comes from. And I'm sorry about that. No, I'm sorry. I really am. They make a lot of noise. 
Oh, see, you guys failed to mention through the rest of this video that the reason this guy might have been banging on your walls in the middle of the night is because your dogs wouldn't shut up in the middle of the night. Now, I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but <laughs> it's kind of an important piece of the puzzle there, guys. Uh, I, I back in and uh, she's just over there recording me okay. and uh, like, all right, whatever. It's not the first time she's been recording me. They think that I've been banging on the walls and throwing shit at their stairwell. Okay. Um, so they're accusing me of of things that haven't happened and this is the first time that they're out there just acting like this i don't understand where this is coming from um how long you been living here uh about nine months have you lived here the entire time or moving after or say again have they lived here the entire time you lived here i think so okay so either that or close to it okay um so really i called you guys because I was standing right here and she was yelling at me and I was just sitting here recording it and uh, she ran at me and she hit me in the shoulder and kind of the neck area and I've got it on video so that's why I called you guys that's the only reason other than that man that's the only problem I have other anything else I can take up with the office you know he stops recording the police interaction right here, and you'll notice that he very confidently and calmly tells the police officer all the things that they're accusing him of having done, and very straightforwardly says, I simply just didn't do these things, and I don't know why they think that I did. Now, you're probably wondering, like, okay, great, but did they get in trouble for this? And the shot, the cops have shown up now. Um, did they, were they punished for all this nonsense for hitting him, which, as far as I'm concerned, should be a right to jail right away kind of thing? Well, I've got just about the best thing you could hope for. The boyfriend returns sometime later, I think well over a week afterward, to apologize. <laughs> And coupled with this apology video that we're about to watch because he makes sure to record this guy's uh, awkward concession in its entirety, we also find out that they were kicked out of their apartment complex so we can stamp these two partially punished. Go ahead. I'm not feeding anything. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not gonna be mad about what other people do. Okay. Thanks. I'm really sorry. We're heading out. Alright, man. Good luck to you. Sorry to have to go like this. Yeah. Me too, honestly. I mean, I think, I think like early on when, when I told you stuff coming up the stairs, I was like, we were scared or whatever. Yeah. Like, and, because we don't know who you are. I mean, you're just a stranger. I'm sure you're a really nice guy, like, when it comes down to it. Um, yeah. And I know how things get. Like, I've had problems, too, where I, where I felt so disrespected. And I'm just like, all right, fuck you. I'm going to disrespect you back because you deserve it, you know? And, like, they never wanted to make amends. They never apologized or anything like that. So yeah, like, agree, yeah, man, that's, that, that's how I felt. I know? understand that. You so know, I'm I tried to... <clears throat> I, I tried to come up there and talk to you like a man, and you shooed me away, so. Yeah, and, and frankly, the part of that was just, like, we've dealt with some people who are actually, like, full-on weirdos before, and it's one reason probably she was calling you a weirdo. She feels bad about that. She feels bad about calling you saying pedophile bullshit. Yeah. Like, that was just, she's, she just started saying that that one time where you played the baby crying. That's obviously not even close to that. She knows that. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I just, I just hope you won't fan it anymore. All I'm my not, trolls can do what they I'm, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not fan in anything. Uh, Thank you. you know, I just posted those videos. That's fine. And uh, the world does what they want. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
good luck to you, man. I hope that uh, I hope that you know you both chill grow, find peace. Yeah. You know, it's it's ultimately just a growing experience. Everything in life does. So yes. I won't. I just it just would make me it, yeah. I just wanted to come down and like I appreciate talk that. a little bit about it because I just want to move on in life. Appreciate and, that, man. I appreciate you being cool. you all, man. Thanks, Notice how she sent him over to make the apology. She was uh, strikingly absent from this apology video. So it appears from all of the context clues of everything that we just watched um, that this dispute between these two was actually over their loud dogs being annoying in the middle of the night and stuff. And he was trying to annoy them back by doing things like banging on the wall or like he said, uh, and you'll notice that our main character didn't deny this when he brought this up just then, uh, that he was playing a crying baby noise to try to counter annoy them. But ultimately, they've really taken a huge L here. You even hear the boyfriend say she's getting harassed on the internet, which means she got some mean comments that she didn't like. Plus, they were kicked out of their apartment complex. Um, so they really did lose this battle. All right, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Was this sufficient punishment for these two? Um... Was it ridiculous that the girlfriend didn't show up for the apology? Is the boyfriend a total simp? And even more importantly, was our main character involved in any of the things he was accused of? Aside from, you know, obviously the crazier stuff that, that she was throwing around. Did he do any of these petty little things that he was accused of? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you later.